Um, well, Draymond can literally do everything. So uh, these last two games, been rebounding like a beast, and his ability to take the ball from the rim and push the break is what sparks our offense so much. So we expect him to continue to play with this this edge because when he does, and he's played with great emotion and and um, passion, that's when he's at his best. Hey, Clay, very rarely do you have off shooting nights, but you were saying yesterday about just the need to always simplify things and also try to get easier looks. How much did you see that going into play tonight with your game? I still took about three or four bad shots, but other than that, I thought I got great looks. I feel like I could have more points, but, you know, that's basketball. It's not always going to go your way. And I look forward to doing that the rest of the playoffs, just, you know, not trying to do too much, but just trying to play my game. With, with how you are as a competitor, how much do you use like a, a rare off shooting night as motivation versus just trying to forget about it? I mean, I've had so many in my career, yeah. even before the NBA. I'm used, I know how to bounce back. Um, so it's not a big deal when I have an off shooting night, uh, to, to me at least, because I know if I play hard, it's going to come back around. right here in the back. Um, the, the other day you said we're a championship team. We're going to come out with a championship effort. Can you talk about uh, what you saw on the court today with your teammates? And uh, it seemed like you were kind of leading the charge in the first half when uh, when the Spurs came back and, um, you know, that you guys needed a little help offensively. Um, I mean, it's just no fun having to lose on your home court in the playoffs and fly across the country. So that was motivation. And um, the team we're going to face next round is already resting, so we don't want to add extra games to our, you know, resume when we have an opportunity to close it out at home. So that also was in the back of our heads. But um, it's the playoffs, and luckily for me and my teammates, we played so many of these games. And uh, I mean, you can't put anything out there ex but 100% effort, or you will lose. And tonight, our effort was amazing. We held them to 37% from the field, and you can't do that by playing lazy. Nice. You mentioned the Pelicans, Clay, down here in the front. You, you mentioned the, the Pelicans. As you start to shift toward that series, I mean, how impressed were you with what they were able to do to Portland, and what challenges did, did they present for you guys? I mean, Alvin has got those guys playing at an amazing pace, very up-tempo. Um, Drew Holiday is looking like, you know, all NBA type of point guard with his ability to defend and run the team. And then um, I've seen Anthony Davis. I've seen plenty of highlights what he's doing this postseason, and uh, it's amazing. So that's going to be a huge challenge for us, and and uh, I could go on and on. So it's going to be a great challenge for us, and um, just got to take it one game at a time, as cliche as it is, because you can't look ahead to you know West Finals or Finals. We got to beat the Pelicans, and they're playing really well right now. And uh, I want to say to the Spurs organization, I mean, congratulations. Uh, what they were going through the last week uh, is is awful, and it's really got it's got to be. I can't imagine how hard it is to go out there and perform under those circumstances. But um, our hearts are with them, and we have nothing but respect for that team because you know they play the right way, and they 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 have great pride and. I've um, been doing it for so long, so hats off to them. And uh, it was a very hard fought series. And like I said before, our hearts are with the Popovich family and the Holzberger's organization. Clay, back here. What is, what is your uh, kind of your outlook on Steph? You guys are going to play Saturday. He's getting evaluated Friday. Any hope that he'll be there for game one? I hope, but I'm not going to expect it because I don't want to get my hopes up and um, not have them fulfilled. But if he doesn't play, I mean, we're prepared. If he does play, hallelujah. But uh, um, we got to go into the game this week with the mindset he's not playing because um, that's what we've been doing this whole postseason, and it will just make us better when he does come back. But we sincerely miss him, and we can't wait till he gets back.